Hi, this is Mark with Woodland Mills. Have you ever heard the term white pine or red pine tossed around in conversation or at a lumber yard? Well, what's the difference? They're both pines, right? Differences really matter when it comes down to it. So let's get started with each species characteristics. White pine grows dense and fast across North America. Red pine stick more to the Northeast and Great Lakes area, preferring sandier soil. Red and white pine both grow extremely straight, reaching up to between 80 to 100 feet tall. White pine bark tends to be darker and also have more grooves in it. And then red pine have flaky reddish bark. White pine needles are soft and in clusters of five. Red pine needles tend to be darker and stiffer, but also come in pairs of two. As far as the cones go for both of the pines, red pine tend to be smaller and more rounder, whereas white pine cones tend to be longer and thinner. Red pine have more of a pine smell to it, given its higher resin content. White pine also has that type of smell, but it's just milder. Red pine, since it's stronger and durable, is actually better for more outdoor uses, so things like fencing, structures, and other durable uses. For outdoor applications, it still does need to be treated. White pine lumber tends to be very easy to work with, so it's great for taking stain, paint, and is great for indoor projects like furniture, paneling, and indoor trim. Both pines are a softwood, but that isn't determined by their hardness rating. Softwood are from the coniferous family of trees. Hardwood, on the other hand, have broad leaves that drop seasonally. The Janka index is a density or hardness rating, and the units used are pounds force. The way that they measure the density within the Janka index is by taking a steel ball or a ball bearing and pushing it halfway into the surface of the wood. And that reading that comes out is its rating on the Janka index. The white pine has a rating of 380 on the Janka index and red pine has a rating of 560. So red pine brings the muscle and white pine brings the charm. So next time you're choosing which pine to use for your next project, make sure to consider both of their unique qualities. This has been Mark with Wood the Mills. Happy milling.